you know, challenging because we already know of how the cross section C is, right? The cross section C only apply from R and to minus R. When you look at a number three, they say that let A be the length of the arc along the base circle of C. And you know that C is actually shaped like this. Okay? So C is only just a section of the cylinder. And it says that it goes from R, from point R0 and 0. It means that in the x-axis, it is point at R. In the y-axis, it points at 0. Remember that y-axis here, then, okay? So this is y-axis, and it points at 0. So this is 0. And for the z-axis, it's still at 0. So that's why this is point R0, 0, zero right? So the x-axis, it, at, it plays at R. In the y-axis, it points at 0. And in the z-axis, it paints it it placed at zero okay and they say to the point of r cos theta r sine theta and zero okay so the length of a is the base circle okay so this is the base so you just from go from there to here so let's say this is a so you know that this point is actually point r cos sine theta r sine theta and zero so how do I know this? Okay, so let's say we have a line, okay? So this is theta, this is theta here, and we imagine that line to become this line, okay? You see that this is the R, and this is the R, and this is also R, right? The, uh, the principle of the circle that if this is R, then, you know, the same line go to the same arc is also R. So this is the one, okay? Uh, in the basics of analytics of how the angles work, right? If we have this is R, then this one, this line only, is actually R cosine theta. Okay? And this line is R sine theta. Okay, so this is actually 90 degrees. So let me review that. This is the uh, hypotenuse, R, and we have theta there. And to find this line, which is this line, okay, we say that cos theta equals this line, something over r. So that something is r cos theta. That's why this is r cosine theta. And for this line, we say that sine theta equals the front of it over r, right? So that is r sine theta. That's why this point, which is this point, is r cos theta. This is r cos theta. Okay? And this line is r sine theta. This point. And r cos theta in the x axis, r sine theta in the y axis, right? And zero in the z-axis, it has no height. It is only a point. So that's why it is the point of r cosine theta, r sine theta, and zero. And take note that this point also lies on the arc of the circle, okay? Because you see in the question, it says that a is the length of arc along the base circle. So the point from here to here is the, is the arc of the circle, okay? And you see that also uh, from the interval 0 to pi, and you know that this is 0 to pi. Pi is 180 degrees. That's why we only draw half line, I mean half circle, okay? And let's, let's ignore B first. So, and the, in the end, it says that express A in terms of R theta. And this is actually the, the, the basic of the circle that when we have already imagined this, we can redraw that. And this is theta and this is r, okay? And the basics of circle that if you want to find the arc, actually the length is already r theta. That's it, the point, right? Actually the length is r theta. You can go to the material of the maths 
uh, A levels, they say that this length is R theta. Okay, now let's find B. B is said that is the length of line segment from the point of R cos theta sine theta zero to R cos theta R sine theta R sine theta. Okay, so what is that? What is actually B? B is said that R cos theta, I mean, let's not put here, let's put it here. B is R cos theta, R sine theta, R sine theta. Okay, so the point here, we know that it is R cos sine theta in the X direction and R sine theta in the Y direction, but this point is zero. So R sine theta have height, which is actually here. This is the point R sine theta. And because this is the line, I mean, this is the base point, we draw a parallel line. So this is R sine uh, theta, the height of the R sine theta in the Z direction, right? So we have to, I mean, the length of the line segment from this point, okay, to this point. This is the point R cosine theta, R sine theta, R sine theta. How do I know this? This is R cos theta, right? Uh, parallel to the x direction, okay? And R sine theta in the y direction, and then R sine theta in the z direction. So we only calculate the line segment of this point, okay? And to this point, R cosine theta, R sine theta, and R sine theta. And the length of it is only R sine theta, right? It's actually the length. So B is R sine theta. So that is uh, the length of A and B, right? The first is I'm confused on how to actually determine this point, right? The trick is you have to understand that the shape of the cross-section